forces of science or the four fundamental forces of nature are electromagnetism, the strong force, the weak force, and gravity. That's it. It's just four. Those are the forces. Now when you when you talk scientifically about what a force is, right? They'll basically say a force is a cause, right? It's something that causes something. Now, when you get to the bottom of the whole philosophical uh, discussion about who and what God is, right? It always comes back to God is an initial cause, right? You know, they'll say a prime mover, the unmoved mover, right? God is that initial cause. And so, if there are four fundamental forces or causes in nature or science, then those four fundamental forces essentially would be the mind that caused things to happen, right? And so, for those four fundamental forces, they'll say um, they, they have discovered particles, meaning a, a, a base center where that force emanates from. For all, for three out of the four forces, right? They have discovered particles for the electromagnetic force and the strong force and the weak force, right? And they have not found a particle for the gravitational force or they have not found a brain for that mind yet. They hy hypothesize a particle called a graviton, however, they have not found any evidence of a graviton, right? And the, and the force, the mind, or the cause called gravity, right, it is essentially the force that's holding everything together. So when, you're, when people start having those discussions about dark matter and dark energy, anytime you do any research about dark matter and dark energy, they'll say that this dark matter and dark energy is a hypothetical thing. It's a hypothetical thing because they have reason to believe that it exists, but they don't have evidence for their reason, right? What they have experienced is the force called gravity. And they created the concept called dark matter and dark energy to explain the force that they experienced called gravity. However, there are other uh, uh, hypotheses out there to try to explain gravity. That's the force, the mind, the cause that's holding everything together. Right? And so they'll say that those three forces that they have found particles or brains for, those three minds that they have found brains for, meaning the electromagnetic uh, force, the strong force, and the weak force, right? They can uh, put all three of those forces into one theory called the Grand Unified Theory, or the GUT, right? So those three are easily explainable. However, they can't fit gravity, they can't fit gravity uh, into the picture, right? So there's, there's three forces or three minds or three degrees of something that all fit together neatly and then there's a force that they can experience the force but they can't fit it together in explanation with the other three. And that one is the one that's holding everything together. Like, hold on. When you do the etymology of the word gravity, it comes out to mean grave. It comes out to mean grave. So you have three forces that can easily be explained. They're basically three degrees of the same thing, right? And then you have a four force that means grave that can't fit in with the other three. Come on, bro. Now, that sounds like African culture and philosophy to me, right? You know what I'm saying? Like when you go into it, they start talking about the four movements of the sun, right? You have uh, three primary positions of the sun as it forms its arc across the uh, across the sky, symbolically speaking, right? And then a fourth position at the bottom, it, it, it sounds very familiar. And then they say that if they are ever able to unify the concept, the mind, the cause that they call gravity, if they're ever able to unify that with the other three, 
then that will create a theory of everything. A T-O-E or a toe. <laughs> right? Again, that shit sounds a lot like African uh, uh, history, African philosophy. It will create a theory of everything, a T-O-E or a toe, right? That would have predictive power to predict the outcome of any experiment. It would be a theory of everything. Stop and let that shit marinate for a second. And then tell me who is the toe, or who is the top, or who is the top in ancient African history, in ancient African philosophy. Right? You know what I'm saying? And then who are the new Pataw? Who are the people of Pataw? Bruh. Man, look. African science, man. You know what I'm saying? Like. Man, get back to your cultural base. Get back to your cultural base. Because when you get back to your cultural base, I'm telling you it will empower you to be very productive when you go into your opportunity mode. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have to, see, this is the thing. They had that large Hadron Collider, right, that they built. And they built it because they're trying to explain it. They're trying to create that theory of everything. They're trying to uh, create that TOE. There are people of every background working there. And I guarantee you, all of those people do not have the same cultural philosophy, theology, or spiritual, or spiritual science. I guarantee you they don't. So, but they're all working towards the same concept and goal. So the question is, what unites them? What unites them is science. Science is the only thing that everybody can agree on. You want to know why? Because it works. Because it works. Period. That's why. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that is the uniting force. Because it works.